Hello game devs, welcome back to another G Develop Fox story. So today um I will be explaining how the um G Develop double jump works. Um okay so before we begin we now have a Discord server. Um I think that's great. Um I'll place a link in the description. Um okay so some time ago someone asked me um to explain how a double jump works in Chilvalp. Presently, we have an example in Chilvalp which shows um, how to create a double jump. Um, okay, so let's just dive right into this. So, news and events. Uh, first of all, we have a scene here. It's a platformer game. It's actually um, the starter, um, the platformer starter we get in Chilvalp. Um, I just changed um, the character. Okay, so. News and events. Um, I'll just create a group right here at the top. Group. Okay, so here that would be a double jump. Okay, so um, first of all, we need to get um a scene variable. We need to create a scene variable. So add a condition. Um, sorry, this is the new editor. So at the beginning of the scene. Okay, now let's add an action. Um, first of all, let's create. Let's search for a scene variable. So value of a scene variable. Let's create one right here. Um, add, and I would name this jump count. So you can give this whatever name you want. This I know this is the exact name which was used in the Chitval um double jump example. Um, so you can use whatever scene variable you want for this. Um, tutorial I will be using this so apply um variable jump counts um sign set to value zero so this would be the number of times our player would jump so at the beginning of the scene we needed to set it to um zero so now let's add an empty event now we need to get um an event to um, make our player jump um once the space key or the right shift um is pressed so let's get into that um add a condition so now we need to select the play hitbox um right here let's get our jumping play hitbox is jumping okay also add a condition play hitbox is falling okay so I would explain this once and don't fill in the event so add a condition or Okay, so this is a non object with of and other condition. So, okay, so now let's place this um, boat into this. Okay, as a sub condition of our if um, condition. Okay, so now we would be using the space key. Sorry, key pressed. Okay, so key pressed um, space. That's the space bar. And add a condition, scene variable. Now here, um, okay, so it's in variable, jump count, now sign of thirst less than the value 2. Also we need to get a 3 go ones right here, 3 go ones. Okay, so this um, is the same, this is actually the total um, number of times our player would have to jump. Okay, let's fill in an action so you understand how this works better. So um, hitbox, um, here we go. Allow double jumping. Okay, allow again jumping for hitbox, and also um scene variable value of a scene variable, jump count sign, um add value of one. Okay. So once uh if one of these conditions is true, since so this is a sub condition of this um condition, we get the player is jumping and the player is falling. So once our player is jumping or our player is falling and the space key is pressed now here this is why we need the scene variable now once the scene variable is less than um two right here at the beginning of the scene we set the scene variable to zero and um by default we get it to zero so once it's less than um okay so at the beginning of the scene we get this to zero so now here it's set to zero once you preview or you're jumping for the first time it's set to zero so now once your player jumps for the first time adds one to the scene variable jump counts now once this um 
this is added it makes this one and okay so it keeps on going in the loop it makes this one which is less than two so once it adds um one once again once the space key is pressed since it's less than two and the space key is pressed it adds another one which makes it two so now that here is the limit um if you set this so let's say um less than or equals to this gives it a total jump of three because two okay sorry um gives a total number of three because we get one for zero and one for o one and also for o two because it's um less than or equals to the value two so we need to set that back to less than so this controls the um jump count in variable so if we set this a value of six um okay let's go with five this would jump at um a total of four times um sorry um five times because it's set to the um the same variable is less than the value five okay so that's how it works um now we need to add um which sets our jump count in variable to zero and um to do that we have our um flow which is the perfect um object for this okay so now add an empty vent add a condition um if one of this condition which is the if sorry about that or okay so or um add a sub condition hitbox is on the floor okay and also once add a sub condition hitbox is on we get this on a ladder okay so now once our hitbox is on the floor and o is on the ladder um add an action scene variable value for scene variable jump count sign set to the value is zero so now this keeps this running in a loop so before we do this let's talk good disable this to just show you our uh, preview so this would up uh, i just want to show you the effect of having this without this um, event so here we go one two three four five now that's all now you can't not jump anymore that's because this is disabled it's still set to the, um, to the value of um it's still set to less than five so now once we have this um thugger disabled or brought back abled um preview now it changes the jump count back to the value of zero so one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Um, since this is double jump, I'll just set that to two. Preview. So we got one, two. There we go. One, two. Okay. And that's how it works. Okay, so that's how to create a double jump in Hope this tutorial was useful.